In this section, we are going to study how we are going to use tree plan to draw decision tree in Excel. We are going to use the example we discussed in class. First of all, let's refresh our memory on the multi-stage decision making example, Comtech example. In this example, the owner of the company, Steve Hinton, is thinking about whether to apply for a $85,000 research grant for using wireless technology to enhance safety in the coal industry. Steve would spend approximately $5,000 preparing the grant proposal and estimates a 50-50 chance of receiving the grant. If Steve got the grant, he would need to decide whether to use microwave cellular or infrared technology. Depending on what kind of technology is chosen, the equipment cost is given in this table. For example, if Steve chose to use cellular technology, then the equipment cost is $5,000. Next, depending on whether Steve is lucky or not, research and development cost might be high or low. And the table you see over here summarizes the information. In the best scenario, suppose microwave technology is chosen, then the R&D cost would be $30,000, and the probability of that is 40%. There is a 60% chance the R&D cost would be $60,000, which is the worst scenario. All right. Next, let's see how we are going to use tree plan to help Steve make a good decision. All right. Let's start with a brand new spreadsheet. Uh, to start the tree plan, we have to activate tree plan first, which is uploaded to Blackboard website. And I would recommend that you download that onto your hard drive. So in my case, the tree plan add-in is in my flash drive. So I'm going to find it and double click it. And make sure you are going to enable macros, otherwise tree plan will not work. After that, we are going to use hotkey to launch tree plan. The hotkey is Control T press Control and T simultaneously. And you can start the tree anywhere you want in this empty spreadsheet. Control T, you see a pop-up window. Okay, we're gonna draw a new tree. Click New Tree. And uh, by default, a tree starts with a decision, decision node. And this decision node has two arcs, decision one and decision two. In the case of Comtech, Steve has to decide whether he's going to apply for the research grant or not. So let's do this. Okay. Apply for grant. Keep in mind, there's, there's $5,000 cost for preparing the research proposal. Okay. Negative 5000 entered over here. And the other option for Steve is, okay, do not apply. In this case, nothing's going to be happening. No gain, no loss. Okay, so that's the end of story over here. So the complicated part is if Steve applies for the grant. So we're going to move on to the next stage of the decision tree. In stage two, it is going to be an event because that is something Steve cannot control. It's up to OSHA to decide who's going to get the grant. Okay, so once again, we're going to click Control T and we're going to change the terminal node to what? Event node. And this event node has two branches. Let's click OK. Here we go. So events are winning the grant or not. So let's name the 
event. Okay, the probability that Steve is going to win the grant is 50%, so that's the default value, so there's nothing we need to do. Keep in mind, the research grant is worth $85,000, so we are going to enter $85,000 over here. And uh, if Steve does not win the grant, then that's the end of the story, as a result, Steve will lose $5,000. Okay, let's go to the case in which Steve does win the grant. Next, it's up to Steve to make decisions once again. This time, the decisions are about what technology to choose. Steve has three options. So, let's use Control T once again. So, we're going to change that to Decision node. This decision node has three branches or three options for Steve. Okay, let's choose three. Click OK. The first technology is microwave. If microwave technology is chosen, the equipment cost would be four thousand dollars. Okay, negative four thousand over here. Next is cellular technology. The associated equipment cost is five thousand okay. dollars. The last one is infrared tech. Its equipment cost is four thousand dollars. Here we go. This is the third stage of this decision tree. Now let's look at each of the three technologies. If microwave technology is chosen, then there's 40% chance the R&D cost would be $30,000. And there's 60% chance the R&D cost would be $60,000. So that is an event which is out of Steve's control. Let's do that. Control T, change that to event node, which has two branches. Click OK. So let's call event A best case and event 9 worst case. Now we have to change the associated probabilities. The probability of best case over here is 0.4. Accordingly, the probability of worst case is 0.6. Alright, if best case occurs, the R&D cost would be $30,000. Okay. If worst case takes place, the RD cost is going to be $60,000. Okay, so we are done with the microwave technology. And next, I'm going to teach you a trick. It's copy and paste tree. Okay. For example, in our case, uh, it doesn't matter which technology Steve chose, it always has event with two possible outcomes, best case and worst case. So we are going to copy the subtree over here. And to do that, let's highlight the uh, cell which contains the event node over here. Control T. Choose the second option, copy subtree. Then click OK. And then let's select the cell in which we are going to paste the event. Control T, okay, paste subtree. Here we go. Okay, so once again, 
under cellular technology, we have best case and worst case. But keep in mind, we have to update the information regarding probabilities and uh, costs. In this case, if cellular technology is chosen, there's 80% chance Steve is going to be in best case scenario. And in that case, the R&D cost would be $40,000. So let's change that accordingly. And the probability of worst case will be 0.2, and the R&D cost would be $70,000. Okay. And we're going to do the copy-paste thing once again. Control T copy sub tree okay and select the cell in which we are going to paste the sub tree control T paste the sub tree click OK alright once again we're gonna update probability and the cost information this time the probability of best case is 0.9 the probability of worst case under infrared technology is 0.1 and the associated R&D cost is $80,000. Here we go. And uh, that's the tree and tree plan has done the calculation for us automatically. As we go back to the very beginning of the tree, here's what we're going to see. Okay, so the E MV associated with microwave technology is $28,000, EV of cellular tech is $29,000, and EV of infrared technology is $32,000. As a result, if Steve has won the research grant, he's going to pick infrared technology, which is our option 3 over here, and the resulting EV is $32,000. And then when we go back to stage 2 of the tree, we see event. 50% chance Steve got $32,000 and 50% chance he loses $5,000. So to calculate EV, it's going to be 0 0.5 times 32,000 plus 0 0.5 times negative 5,000 and the resulting EV is $13,500. And at the very beginning, compare the two options, applying for research grant or not. Apparently, uh, go for it is the better decision for Steve. So, decision one in this case is applying for grant. As a result, the expected value of this decision would be $13,500 for Steve.